Yo, 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 you guys, it's that cartoon is back once again, and I bring you a review of Black Lightning Episode 9, The Book of Little Black Lies. If you guys are digging the content, go ahead and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we're gonna jump right into it. I wanna give a special shout out to Your Daily Nerd. I'm going to leave their link in the description. They bring the latest and greatest and video game news. Go ahead and check them out. They do some really awesome work. I love watching their content. They do podcasts. You'll love it. Promise. Now let's jump into this episode. We got some good stuff right here. Jefferson, we see him punching things. He is mad. He is pissed. Just do it again. Be lying to him and being framed. And all life just kind of tumbling and crumbling down on him. Jefferson is just having a hard time. Jefferson and Officer Henderson actually have a conversation that I feel helps move the plot. You see that Henderson actually does believe Black Lightning. He's just having some major issues because, well, he got framed and he has to go with well, you know, what the police force does. But he decided he'll take his free time, because he has some vacation time coming up, and go ahead and kind of patrol and see what he can find, which is awesome. Henderson, you're a good guy. Always believed in you. Now, Jennifer discovers truthfully that she is a metahuman and that her sister is a metahuman. Jennifer is still kind of like scared and just kind of like baffled that she had her phone like to get destroyed in the previous episode like it did and she doesn't know what to make of it. So Anessa takes it upon herself to reveal that not only is she Thunder, but her father, their father is Black Lightning. And Jennifer is like blow, blowing it off like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Until Anissa like lifts the bed. And I was like, bruh, like that's a hell of a way to find out that you're you're a super. And Jennifer starts freaking out. Runs downstairs like, yo, like, are you Black Lightning? And everyone's like, surprise. And, and Jennifer just doesn't know how to take it and just runs back upstairs. Anissa, Lynn, and Jefferson end up having a conversation and they were just, they were not pleased at how Anissa brought it up to um, Jennifer, thinking that there is a better way to do it. But Anissa is, is hell bent on thinking that everybody is just like her. When Jennifer has her own set of feelings, her own, her own everything. So that's gonna come up later on in the episode. And actually, you know, during that, during that scene, you see a heartwarming conversation between Jefferson and Lynn, and we are getting more of those, and I am all here for it. I'm low-key hoping to get back together. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see, because everybody seems to be cool with everybody being a super-powered, loving family, so I'm just like, yes! But long story short, they end up deciding they need to take down the creators that is Greenlight and find the connection between Greenlight and Tobias, and that's what they're gonna be doing for the remainder of the episode. Now, Jennifer is actually pretty bummed about finding all this news out because it was too much to take. So, Lynn ends up going to speak to her and you already know I caught this Easter egg. Uh, Jennifer brings up the fact like, hey, you know, you're not Vixen, are you? And then Lynn's like, yeah, I am. I do it on the weekends. And, and the, the Easter eggs were, they brought up Vixen and they brought up Supergirl. Jokingly, but that means they might exist in the world somewhere, at least Vixen. So I'm I'm glad they brought it up. It's come up, so like, you know, I'm just gonna place it in canon Easter eggs. Yee! Jefferson and Anissa are researching information in the, in the library, I'm assuming, and we come across the name Ben's Corp, which sent money to the grandfather of Anissa and the father of um, Jefferson, and they use the term GTC. Um, which means something. And the, Jefferson was saying that his father used to always say GTC jokingly. And there's a connection, it's all connected. Now Gamby's over here being a badass man. Gamby, I, I wanted to hate him a little bit, but Gamby's redeeming himself. He does care about Jefferson and the family. So what he's doing now is he's going to get information so he can keep his family safe. He went ahead and, um. Waiting for somebody to get in their car, injecting them with snake venom is like, all right, cool. You gonna give me a name and a location and you get to live. If not, you're gonna die from the black mama venom. Either way, I come out on top. I'm almost like, man. 
This organization you were part of, fam. I, I ain't trying to fight. I want zero problems, big fella. Now, Jefferson and Anissa decide to go to a law firm to get information on this Ben's court and, and just like figure out what is what. Now, basically, they dress up as Michelle and Barack Obama, just put the masks on and threaten this, this, this um, lawyer. And he is just like, he's not like, oh, whoa, whoa. He just starts realistically squealing after Black Lightning shows us some power. And then this was kind of like, well, I got this information on you. Your, your wife, your kids, your dog, everything. So what's good? And she's like scrolling down. I'm just like, man, y'all, y'all, y'all better. I'm here for it. I'm here for this superhero, uh, good cop, bad cop thing they got going on. So then Jennifer and Anissa actually start talking and have a real conversation. And Jennifer is, she doesn't want to be a hero. She wants to have a normal life. But she and Anissa kind of make amends a little bit. And we see that Anissa actually has a fan page when they were talking. It was kind of funny because like, when they brought up the fact that um, Anissa found out who Black Lightning was after they actually fought, it was like, oh, you caught an L. But apparently Anissa is more popular amongst the, the community and there are a couple fan pages and like you see like a, a sisterly bond happening again and they're rebuilding their relationship which I am I am just I'm glad it's on those good terms and it was pretty funny like one of the um the YouTube videos was like damn she got a fat and they made a song out of it I'm like <laughs> so Gailey was running names and came across the name Caleb Scott and he was hacking against him to find out his information so he could get what was going on and get some information pertaining to to answers to try and help the Pierce family. Because again, this is his family. He does care about them. He just made a bad decision. And it's really not too different from the decision that Jefferson and Lynn made to keep their daughters safe. Now we see Henderson getting pictures and kind of staying low, laying low, getting pictures of the arms dealers and the dirty cops. It was kind of funny. It's like, I always knew the child were dirty. And man, he gets good pictures. I'm like, I hope he doesn't get seen. And like my first, my first reaction was like, I pray to God he has the flash off on that camera because that's gonna be a wrap. You see it sometimes in um superhero shows where someone takes a picture, the flash is on, but the flash was off, thank God. Oh wait, the flash was off. Like the flash came on before that show. Was, the flash is off. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, you 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 guys got it. You guys got it. Yeah, that was pretty bad, I know. <laughs> Now Gamby is in a facility we haven't seen before. And he sends like a little camera down to kind of spy around. And he sees these cases. And I'm like, what are these cases? I'm thinking like, are these humans in these cases? Now there was a person in one of the cases and we see that they might be in a suspended state of animation. And it was a boy he'd seen 30 years ago. And I'm almost like, yo, that's crazy in the flashback. We you see this kid jump really, really far. I'm almost like, yo, what's his meta power? Like, I don't know. Like, because they made the association with the Legionnaires, like, it could be a plethora of kids, but because we only saw him jump, maybe that's Bouncing Boy? I don't know, look, I don't know, I don't know. Speculation, speculation. There are quite a few Legionnaires he could have been, but we're gonna find out, I'm sure, and I am hyped. This is gonna be legit. Gamby was finding superpowered kids and bringing them back over there. But he, of course he stopped, but like, that's a thing. We have to, we gonna figure out and see what happens with that. I'm, oof. As soon as Gamby finds this out, he contacts Anissa, tells her what happened, tells her he still loves the family, and gives her her super suit. And now I'm just like, yes. After receiving her super suit, Black Lightning and Thunder suit up and they go ahead and head out. We see Henderson over here still taking pictures, still trying to just figure out everything, but he does contact Black Lightning as soon as Black Lightning was gonna call him, and he tells them everything that he's seen, but Henderson is gonna go ahead and go to the scene. So Black Lightning and Anissa have to go ahead and hurry up so Henderson doesn't do anything too crazy now. But before that, Jennifer and Lynn have a conversation because, well, um, Jennifer rolled her eyes at her mother, and you know, um, that doesn't run too uh, high in a black household at all. Or really any household for that matter. They had a whole conversation. You know, you see Jennifer is just kind of distraught because she really didn't want powers. And she finds out that the reason why her father and her mother aren't together wasn't because of infidelity on either person's part, but because of the power. But they're all coming around and, and we see that Jennifer has so many questions like, can she have a normal life? And she's seen what happened between her mother, her father, Anissa and her girlfriend at the time and she wants a normal life. She doesn't even know she got kids She's asking these questions that nobody has the answers for it. and it's it's very like heart-wrenching to me I was like, oh man, like this Proctor character is at this facility that both Anissa, Jeff, and Henderson are heading towards and he is all up in there just kind of like getting things together Telling them they need to move shop 
for whatever reason. And he just, I am just like blown away. Like there's all this stuff with green light in this facility. It is dry, it's crazy. So of course, you know, our heroes step in, um, Jefferson and Anissa start kicking butt and taking names. We see Anissa's power and she is like developing a lot of what she can do. It's pretty awesome. Jefferson, of course, is shooting lightning. Um, Proctor tries to use one of his goons as um, bait, but Jefferson's kind of like, okay. And Henderson ends up saving Jefferson's life by shooting some guy um, who was about to shoot Jefferson. Pretty good fight, good to see everything. And of course, in the end, you already know what happens. They destroy the building. The building explodes as they're walking out. Typical hero fashion. I'm loving it. I'm doing it. I'm like, are they gonna destroy the building? Are they gonna make it explode? I'm just like, yeah, they're gonna make it explode. I'm just like, yeah, y'all better. That's, that's the way to walk out right now. I'm telling you. At the end of the episode, we see Jennifer and we see Jefferson actually have a conversation and Jefferson agrees to be more, um, or to be always truthful with his daughter because she's not a kid anymore and he had his reasons. And he's starting to understand, I think a little bit, that Gamby was in a similar situation. And the two end up having a heartfelt moment and they decide to watch a movie together, The Prince of the Frog. So that was good. I really enjoyed this episode. We are getting so much heat. This is, oh my goodness. I can't wait to see what other characters are gonna introduce. I wanna see what they're gonna do with Lala. I wanna see what's good with these other, these other kids that were abducted. Cause the next episode, they'll be they're gonna be abducting more kids. So I'm just like, man, what they about to do? Make, like, make more metas? Like, man, we're gonna see. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See tunes. Out.